Pavel, the fastest growing sport in the world. Thinking how to become a more complete, technical, tactical and effective player, you're at the right place. This is Daniel Dios and we are Pavel Trainer. On today's video, we will have a look to the use of the back wall with straight, crosscut and of the two wall shots with its three main points, preparation, contact point and follow through. Remember that the more we use the wall as defenders, the more shot selection there will be due to the extra time available. Use the back wall only when being a helpful element. Technique. The racket must be prepared as the ball is approaching towards you, being totally armed when bouncing off the back wall. We will then adjust with small steps until we are completely behind the ball, striking it in front of your body. A long follow through is required to gain maximum control on the ball. The body weight transfer from back to front will be crucial as it will generate smooth power to convert it into an aggressive shot when being executed with the right timing. Remember guys, early preparation of the racket whilst rotating back both hips and shoulders, adjust with small steps whilst looking at the ball, contact point in front of your body and long follow through allowing you a good body weight transfer. When the ball is bouncing off the wall in an angle, the non-hitting hand and the footwork will be essential. Our non-hitting hand will always point to the ball in order to assure a good distance space between the ball and the body. Always imagine that you want to catch the ball with your arm totally extended to the side. Footwork needs to be intense as position will need to be corrected, offering margin for error to the player. When striking the ball, remember that both arms need to move forwards at the same speed for control and balance purposes. When returning a two-wall shot going towards the middle of the court, two things will be crucial. The first one is the footwork. A two-wall shot will normally slow down without offering a big bounce of the back wall. Our position then will need to be corrected by moving back in a diagonal motion in order to stay totally behind the ball. The second key point will be our body position. As the ball is coming off the second wall, with our racket ready and ourselves behind the ball, we will need to start opening your body position until our non-hitting shoulder is completely pointing to the direction chosen, having plenty of options on the shot selection. Good defenders will always have the cross court shot available, as opponents will need to cover all the net. If our body finishes pointing to the back wall or the corner, your shots will become straighter, becoming easier to defend. We hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching Paddle Trainer.